today what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend some plywood. I need to bend plywood for the leading edge of my wing. I've built myself a, a steamer box here and I've got some plywood, one sixteenth inch, three ply mahogany poplar mahogany in a two by four sheet which will slip into my steam box here that I've made to fit my plywood. It's got a small manifold in the middle and then I've got myself a old pressure cooker that will heat up the water, bring to a boil, and then the steam will go up and into the box through the bottom I'll be looking for a temperature of about 200 degrees. I've got a nice big burner down here. There's my pressure cooker. And here's my leading edge of my wing. I've done one already. Bent that around. And I've got some straps and some little pieces of wood here that I'll lay across the top. Now let's get to steaming. I've also put screws in here that allow me to take the lid off the box and place the plywood in. I've got a hole in the back and I've got this plug piece of wood here that kind of sticks right in here and will plug up the back. It'll take about 10-15 minutes once I reach the temperature of 200 to get the plywood to about where I want it. I've got my burner burning here. Taking the screws out of my box. I'll lift the lid. Oops. Just getting a little fragile. I think the last steaming probably did a little, let a little glue loose. We'll lift this up, get rid of those, and you can see the inside, and there's my manifold, right there, I'll take my plywood, and I'll lay it right on the inside here, nice and neat. Get it right in there about where I want it. And then I'll go ahead and put my lid back on and uh, start steaming. Pull the wood out of the box and form it on the leading edge.
Okay, so I've finished and put the leading edge on. Got straps that hold the pieces of wood there, and that kind of helps keep the plywood against the ribs, keeping the shape. I've got four straps on there. I put little pieces of wood across the top to hold it into place. And then making sure that the that the plywood conforms to the leading edge. And then I got a little excess hanging over the bottom. And I'll mark that and trim that off at a later date. And then I'll glue it on like I did over there. Looks pretty good. And that's how I heated and steamed my leading edge and put it on the front of my wing here making sure that the plywood does form to the rib I'll leave it on for a couple days come back do a little scarfing and glue it on and then all I have to do is get my tip done and um, I'm rock and rolling and that's the way I put my wood leading edge on may the force be with you keep them flying the older the better.